प्रोफेसर चंद्रशेखर सर अब्दुल्ला प्लीज पुट योर माइक ऑन म्यूट अब्दुल्ला हेलो हेलो अब्दुल्ला प्लीज म्यूट योर माइक अब्दुल्ला स्टूडेंट मन बरदे Okay, shall I start, sir? Shall I start? It's all ready to. Okay, sir. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 Good afternoon, one and all, and welcome to the class on research and publication ethics. Here we have Professor Chandrasekhar, sir. Uh, Chandrasekhar M from the Department of Library and Information Science, Mysore University, to talk to us on open access publishing. He has already given one lecture on that. This will be in continuation with his previous lecture. On behalf of IQAC uh, and on my personal behalf, I welcome uh, Professor Chandrasekhar to this class once again. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome thank you. you. Thank you for introducing me. Very good. Okay. I request you to uh, conduct this class. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, all of you. Okay. Abdullah. Okay. So, Mr. Abdullah.
Okay, good. Uh, then last class I have taken this class on this publication, uh, uh, open access publishing uh, as a part of your this uh, research and publication ethics of the PhD coursework. Uh, next today I will continue that one. You see. Okay, it's coming. One minute. Okay, that's whether this uh, PPT is visible, ma'am. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. It is visible. It is visible. Okay. okay. But not in the slideshow yes, mode. It's that not time. in the that slideshow. Time. That okay. Time. okay. Now it's coming, no? Yes. Yes. Now it's fine. Oh. It's moving also. No problem. One minute. It yes. is moving. Is yes. It? Yes. Yes. Then it's Okay. Uh, uh, good afternoon, all of you. Uh, <clears throat> as uh, man suggested me to take this uh, the class on uh, open access publishing. Uh, this is uh, the second lecture. Uh, in that, the open access publishing, we have touched some of the important aspects. Uh, these are the outlines. Those who have not uh, attended in my previous class, and they can see that uh, what are the aspects uh, will be coming. Uh, particular open access publication, open access initiatives, ARPA, uh, Romeo, this online resources, and SPU because uh, uh, Savitra Bai, uh, Pune, Pune University, they have this uh, uh, made on committee. Okay, that also available journal finder and the general suggestion tools also available. Jane, Elsevier, and Spring, the general of this. So these are learning, learning outcomes, and some of the aspects I already covered here. Uh, these are the aspects uh, I covered. I already told this, uh, uh, how this uh, open access uh, has been developed and then this uh, open access movement, etc. And the main factors affecting author's choice of target uh, journals, etc. And the open access, uh, these are the open access movements I touched. And the difference between the traditional journal as well as uh, uh, hybrid journals and uh, what happened for that <clears throat> that also I touched. Uh, these are some of uh, the definitions relating to open access. Uh, then, uh, uh, in a nutshell, of uh, what it is actually, uh, and that some of the basic definition also we are touched open access journal and open access repository, etc. And the origin, because origin and development, um, that also we have discussed uh, how it has, the concept has evolved and how it has developed everything. This, uh, these are the things. Uh, this is a timeline. And uh, why do we need this open access? Also, I touched on the benefits. Okay, benefits, etc. Authors, readers, students, libraries, universities, funding agencies, government, and the citizens, and also the uh, the publishers. What they can get, uh, uh, what benefits they can get uh, from this open access, uh, etc. So then, what are this uh, the costs also? Because there are many the costs involved and the way. Uh, who pays this one also there are many the models also available the publisher pay model so advertising and the scholarly membership and the reader pay model and the author pay model etc are available this is a i uh, have not touched because in a uh, open access publishing this uh, <coughs> let us see that one okay there are uh, the publishers pay model advertising giving the advertising or the society membership you have uh, uh, you we are member of this uh, any society then also and the readers uh, uh, because they sometimes they will get uh, uh, the money from this advertisement then they won't charge anything or they won't cut uh, collect this apc so society membership also sometimes if you are having this membership they won't get okay or sometimes they will pay okay these are the things and uh, reader pay model also general subscription because you can subscribe the journal to 
your library or you personally uh, do that one. And per article fee also sometimes uh, charging this from the reader. Uh, that concept is also available. And author pay model, here this is the submission fee and the publication fees many times they are charging. That you know that one, if you have published this uh, articles in uh, uh, some of uh, uh, the open access journal, also they, they might have charge, okay, as a submission fee or this publication fee or sometimes they, they are calling as APC, okay, these are the things we can see. Uh, what are the costs, you know, that the editors, editorial decision making and the, because some of the costs also involved, uh, that, that's why they have to charge editorial decision making, pay review, copy editing, production, then archiving, website maintenance, because uh, some of the dedicated servers are, all these are required for this, because uh, this is more important, if it is open access also, open access in the sense, you know that one, all this work will be this hosted on website isn't it of website because you have to uh, you should have some dedicated uh, uh, websites okay that uh, should be hosted in your uh, institution server okay these are the things or sometimes you can uh, host uh, some some are freely given okay uh, there you can post the cloud okay so these are the costs also involved and current uh, this uh, state of this open access uh, if you are coming there are more over 17,472 journals listed by the DOEJ and over 1,280 repository listed in a directory of open access repositories because I told there are two types of uh, publications are coming. One is uh, uh, journals and second one is uh, the repositories that I will concentrate uh, later and this is one is called as uh, the gold, okay, gold route and another one is uh, the green route, okay, these are things. New mandates and the policies being announced regularly. Also, publishers engage with the open access in a variety of ways and projects looking at the usage of open access materials because a lot of these projects are also going on. Many of the uh, publishers also, they are moving towards uh, providing open access. Why? Because they are moving towards open access uh, uh, because otherwise uh, uh, the libraries, all this, uh, uh, the readers, they won't uh, accept uh, and they, they won't pay also because that's why uh, some journals they are giving it freely and uh, uh, some, if they are subscribed some journals uh, some databases they will give this uh, few journals uh, freely okay so these are the concepts uh, or the models they are having and this is uh, also i discuss i think okay compatible with oa it is a uh, open access is compatible with many one copyright you know that one uh, because they are freely giving or uh, there one important thing what we have to see is a uh, creative commons okay we have to get this uh, we are putting this creative commons uh, license okay then anyone can uh, use that one because there are many attributes are there that i will explain later so and it is compatible with the, uh, this uh, compatible with the peer review also because many times you know that even though it is open access they are giving for uh, review peer review means experts review okay uh, that's that's also they are doing and uh, revenue, even this uh, profit, because they, they can get uh, some profit also, because you know that the APC had to uh, author this uh, publication charges through that they can get the money. And the print also, we can do this uh, print. Sometimes they will bring this uh, along with the printed uh, publication journals also, general publications. Reservation, no issue. Reservation, we can do this uh, digitally, we can do reservation. And sometimes, uh, 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 this uh, quality is also no problem because it is a good reputed journal uh, then uh, the, we can see the quality and it will be helpful for many other things the career advancement if you are going for the uh, promotions or applying for this new job or uh, many many other things also we can uh, all people will consider or the institution will consider uh, if your publications are published in reputed okay, what I can say this reputed uh, this uh, uh, journals, okay, reported journals, okay, indexing that also we can get, you know, that one, uh, it may be this, uh, it will be indexed in uh, either Web of Science or the Scopus uh, or NSG or etc. ranking, all this you can see. So, indexing uh, many times because this is more important if it is indexed in uh, either Web of Science or the Scopus, uh, then we can consider it as uh, a good journal, okay, this is uh, what we are uh, considering. And other features and the support and services associated with the conventional scholar literature will continue here also in open access. 
this one actual it may be this one copyright pay review revenue profit preservation history quality career development indexing all this uh, will be what you can see in the uh, traditional journal will be continued here also so there is no problem then how did open access come about uh, this uh, i don't want to discuss changes is called any publication that i uh, internet uh, so publishers and authors because this i uh, skip of open access publishing i have to this uh, something i have to uh, touch and then i move to the further uh, open access publishing alternative to the traditional publishing this uh, approaches okay that i told you many times because uh, this uh, open access uh, publishing is really this uh, alternative to traditional publishing approaches because many many traditional traditional we are concentrated mainly on mainly on uh, the printed printed publications so the publishers are mainly concentrated or the institutions are mainly concentrated on publishing the the, the articles in uh, uh, the printed journals okay this is what we can see uh, and here uh it is ultimately more this exposure to your work because what you can get because more expo exposure if you are publishing in open access okay openly is uh, published more many people will see this visibility will be more this more more exposure for your work okay this is one because if you publish today then uh, within a fraction of a second and then uh, the, uh, the the uh, the experts or this, uh, the teachers or uh, the people who are working in a, in that particular area in us or the london or any other parts of the world they can see okay this is one advantage and this uh, practitioners can apply over this uh, the findings also that will be very easy fast otherwise uh, a printed publication means uh, it uh, takes more time uh, but whereas uh, it is not like that and you can get many uh, benefits i have citation rates also this i told the uh, citation will many people will access this one many people will use uh, many people will cite your this uh, articles uh, then your citation will uh, automatically increase okay it may be this google scholar citation or uh, this uh, web of scopus okay in that uh, in that particularly this it has indexed indexed okay and many people have cited that one automatically your h index or the item index will uh, uh, increase okay because if they have cited your research can this influence this uh, policy also because this is more important many times what we are suggesting whatever you do that one that should helpful for uh, taking this or the making this policies in the government level okay this is uh, very very important uh, our this publication should contribute uh, mainly for uh, this uh, uh, for uh, policy making okay policy making the public can access your this findings because anyone can access because if it is freely or openly available on internet okay and if you host at that one or on internet automatically what will happen a n number of any people can see that one complaint with this uh, grant rules okay because anyone can see that one even this uh, government or the uh, this uh, uh, sponsoring bodies uh, they will also see taxpayers get value for money okay this is more important because uh, as teachers or the research scholars you are doing the research many times uh, by getting this uh, fund from the government okay in such a case that is uh, then uh, what we are giving to the society is more important we are getting this uh, the salary and because the government is paying for us and that's why we are doing the work we know that one okay and uh, we are this uh, and whose money that one ultimately this taxpayers we also pay the tax because the public all these people will uh, this uh, uh, pay the tax isn't it so taxpayers get value for the money because then we have to give to the society okay so researchers in developing countries can see your work okay that is more important okay researchers in developing countries can see your work that is uh, uh, quite common if are published on this uh, your article published on internet automatically uh, many people will see because this slide you can see here not license that's why i can take easily that one by because uh, by this attributes they can you can use that particular slide that is they have they have given okay so open access publications are free to the users worldwide and maybe this distributor without requesting permission okay that i uh, you know that one and another important thing is oe allows of access for researcher teacher journalist policy makers and the general public without the 
a subscription. Okay, this is one. Okay, anyone. Uh, I'm going somewhat fast. If anything, I want to make slow. No problem. Right. Then, uh, then O is compatible with copyright. Pay review, prestige, all this. Authors can write to this uh, the fruits of their labor, and uh, it reduces the permission requirement and eliminate price barriers for readers. Okay, this is one. And uh, studies, many studies have conducted in the open uh, open access uh, literature. They receive more citation than subscription publication in some disciplines. Okay, this not only we can see. I told you. Uh, uh, if you are published in the printer journal, very few people will see. Whereas, uh, uh, if it is published on this uh, open access means electronic journals, then many uh, many people will see because open, uh, in that electronic also open access. Okay, open access journals. Then proliferation of open access has emerged as a phenomenon to remove the barriers to enable smooth flow of uh, scholarly communication. Now, finally, what will happen? What is important? Communication, okay, scholarly communication is uh, more important. The first open access peer reviewed journal, the monthly PLOS, Public Library of Science Biology, was issued or online in October 2003 by the Public Library of Science, this is I told, a non profit organization of the scientists and as well as, well as uh, physicians. Okay, this is uh, the first open access peer reviewed journal. You know that one? First journal when it started, you know that one, okay, 19, 19, 1665. Uh, one is actually journal desk events, and then another one is let's say published in January, and, and fifth, and another one is the March, I think that's a uh, March, March, that is a philosophical transaction. Okay, these are the two. But whereas coming to this peer, this open access publishing, peer reviewed journal, first published, uh, uh, published by this. Uh, a public library of science. Okay. Open access uh, journals are scholarly periodical publications. Etc. Okay. This is what we call it mainly this uh, bridging the digital divide, open access. Okay. Uh, this will be helpful in many ways. And uh, that you know that one uh, today this technology is also no problem. This advent of technology has prol proliferated the heavy and incredible growth of scholarly research conducted at the universities. Uh, and institutions around the world. Uh, so uh, this uh, should be this is this should be this made available to openly made available to the public. Then what will happen now? This uh, if it is a free, freely available, many people they can use okay use uh, the resources. So this is uh, the problem took to the shape of international academic movement and uh, proposed new model of academic publishing called open access publishing. This I, I, I told with uh, this uh, Budapest and as well as Berlin declarations uh, long back itself. So here you can see here, the recommended by putting this uh, CC by, then anyone you can easily this you can take that one. Okay, take that P, either this PPT or this uh, uh, any this uh, present, uh, this uh, uh, or this uh, PPT PPT or any this uh, publications. Okay, uh, that we can. How is open access achieved? Because uh, this is a traditionally in one of of the two ways we can see one via deposit in a, an open access repository. So these are the, I told you there are two these models. One is the green and another one is the gold. Green means deposit in open access repositories. Okay. Open access repository. Many times you are doing this or uh, developing institutional repositories. One by using some of the software. Okay, by that uh, who will take the responsibility? Library normally the library will take the responsibility of uh, digitizing your this. Uh, if it is uh, digitizing your articles and putting in the repository, and that's one thing. If it is in a printed format, if it is available in electronic format or the born digital, then it is they can easily this. Uh, this is called as a green. Okay. Then another one is a via public in open access journals. This is what called the gold. If you put this your publication in some of the develop in this uh, uh, repositories, repository, then it is called as a green. Okay. If this uh, your publications in, in, in an open access journal, then it is called as a gold. So some commercial publisher now also offer the option to pay to make an individual article open. Access open access. This is a uh, many publishers also they are taking interest and uh, why how they are getting the money? That's the question comes. That is through APC, isn't it? Uh, author publication 
charges or the processing charges there are many times they are telling no that is what called author this uh, publication this uh, charges okay through that and sometimes uh, they are making the mixed model okay some this they, they are some uh, this uh, uh, journal uh, the journals they are charging and some are there freely giving this open access okay so licensing model fully cooperative journal readers or advertisers pays this i to oh this is a various models are available one you can see the fully cooperative journal because this is a reader or advertisers uh, they can pay okay, because there is no need of vrp and then second oa journals author usually pays a fee and retains the copyright okay so next third one is hybrid journal authors can select oa public publishing option okay this is a these are the three are uh, models are available and coming to the next term, there are many this open access publishing open access publishing okay but there are many models you know just basically i told you traditionally the two models one is the gold route and the green okay now this we can say apart from this uh, there are many open access publishing and the publisher may use one or more of these uh, the models one is a gold open access another one is green open access okay hybrid open access bronze or open access diamond or platinum or open access black open access gratis and libri as a pair okay these are the main are available out of these the three first the three are very popular because gold green as well as the hybrid as i mentioned we can see little about that not much about because i already mentioned that open access movement uses the term gold oa for oa delivers by journals that i told if a publication they, they are published in this open access journal then it's called as a gold gold regardless of the journal's business model and the green open access for the open access delivered by the repositories repositories this is what open access gold is open access for oa delivered by journals regardless of journal business model and the green means sir delivered by some of the repositories of okay, some of the repositories also available that also i give and self archiving the third concept you can see the more self archiving it is a practice of depositing one's own work in an oa repository all three of these terms were coined by steven harner steven harner <coughs> this is a roots of this open access publishing so here you can see this uh, this is what published in an open access journal because this is a who the researcher decide where to pub this publish okay check to where it is published they have to check here check the sharp or romeo to see what open access and self archive options are available if you click here the site if you visited this particular site then you can get and you can decide where yeah, in which journal you have to publish then then what we can do then publish in an open access journal if you are publishing in open access journal then pay article processing charges apc okay if required sometimes they may collect this sometimes they don't okay so this is one route okay a gold open access route okay then then otherwise publish in a subscribed subscription based journal also this is a uh, okay from there search for a repository repository and then you can this uh, publish also or search for a repository because in that uh, this uh, repository also you can publish this is a uh, another route okay another route this is called as a the green route see here search for a repository you have to where you have to search journal we can search in sarpa or this romi bas romio search for repository open door dot org is there there you have to search okay there are many this journals are available you can find out which one is the good one that's you have to decide self archiving in a repository based on the publisher's policy there you can do that one after the immediate or delay open access depending on this publisher's policy sometimes they may uh, suddenly this publish or they sometimes they will take the time also so this is search a repository see here uh, that immediate open access via the publisher because this is will be possible one is this a pay article processing charges this for this also sometimes they may charge sometimes they won't charge also okay this is uh, the two methods one they can 
uh, is published in repositories and sometimes in uh, open access journals. So this is uh, one thing we can see. This is the same. Uh, this is charters. Okay. Uh, gold open access. Gold open access. Uh, the picture is uh, says this one. Okay. Journal journals publication feeder article processing or the freely they are doing because where they are publishing this open access gold means which journals they are publishing. Public, well, are they taking the publication fees? Sometimes maybe article processing or sometimes freely they can do this is one. Non-profit or the profit. Okay, sometimes some are ma making for this profit and some are not because PLR so public library of science. Okay, then uh, biomedical this uh, okay and BMC okay. they are not this uh, they are some are not char uh, charging for that. Many hybrid journals they offer both also both model mixed model. Then is it this period? Yes, because many times they are this uh, many times always uh, they will uh, many this uh, if it is a reputed I can say reputed uh, uh, this uh, journals they will go for some uh, peer review okay. Peer review because you know that from this example it says then uh, how to publish golden this is a director of open access no hybrid journals this uh, many examples also then we have given we have sponsored everything then uh, charges how much the charges also we can see uh, sometimes if you are charging this more than uh, uh, 1000 pound also uh, this we can see uh, then uh, Gold route to open access authors or this uh, authors institutions or the research project funding agencies pay. Uh, sometimes what if you are doing this publication, doing the research under some project, okay, project, then you can pay from this uh, your funding, this your funding agency can pay, okay. So or from that particular the project you can pay. Pay your fee to the publisher at the uh, publication time to make the publication available free at the point of access. Okay. This is uh, what you can do. So APC charges commercial publishers how much they are charging. This is what can see. There are many well-known publishers, I told no? uh, Elsevier's, Taylor and Francis, Wiley, Springer. Okay. Total publications, I think 50%. Okay, total publications, 50% publications uh, of the of the total publication, only these four uh, public publishers are there. Okay. They are charging this APC charges. You can see it here. This uh, uh, how much pound or this dollar means how much? Okay, these are the things uh, they are given. How much? And APC are society publishers. This is mainly for the commercial publishers. This some other society publishers are also available, particularly I uh, American uh, this uh, uh, ACM, okay, ACM. <coughs> then uh, American Chemical Society ACS. Then Oxford University Press. Cambridge University Press, Royal University, uh, Royal Society of London, and these are the many are available. They are charging this much of this amount. Um, okay, this is a society publishers. So, open access publishing fees, better known as APC, with bitter researchers in a global <coughs> south source, recent research from the Brazil, because this is the one uh, just I downloaded because in that they are given how much this uh, uh, they are charging everything and the many of uh, <clears throat> many of the publishers uh, they have charging very high uh, prices of okay, that also given in that particular article. So green open access. Another I told green open access repositories. Uh, sometimes it is self archiving. Do not perform this uh, peer review, or sometimes they will do, or some after that also they do. Types uh, free prints, post prints, data repositories. Okay, these are the three types of uh, um, okay documents we can see. Index and Google searchable because they also following this uh, index everything they are doing this Google in that also we can search. So this is okay you know self archiving okay that concept uh, I tell you it is a green open access okay ah, refers to the authors archiving their articles in an institutional repository or the subject repository that I already told there are many uh, universities. Or the institutions they are developing their own this repository that is called as institution repository. For that they are using some software. There are some free, uh, free or uh, open source software are available uh, for creating or developing this IR of institution repository. So uh, particular this uh, e prints uh, or these space uh, etc. 
decrease this uh, decrease of open access full open access journals with all content open this access hybrid you know where only some of the content is in a open access this is some of the uh, the commercial this publisher deal this one follow delayed open access uh, journals where the content is made open access after delay because sometimes they will take this uh, 12 or the 20, 24 months that is an embargo period this is uh, also the case with the thesis and dissertations okay this is a delayed open access uh, journals so hybrid because i told hybrid open access are the business model developed around the principles of open access journals so okay, this is it so the difference is that hybrid journals are nurtured by the commercial or for the profit journal publishers such as Elsevier, Springer, uh, Oxford University Press and Cambridge University, University Press, uh, so on. Springer has pioneered, okay, started first, the efforts to move to the idea of hybrid OA with the acquisition of biomedical central journals. So this is a major hybrid open access publishers you can see here. here. Uh, IEEE, ACM, ACS, uh, uh, American Chemical Society, Cambridge University Press, Oxford University Press, Springer, Elsevier, Tyler and Francis, Wiley and Blackwell. So, year of establishment also you can see total revenue there and the country of origin, business type. This is these are the society and these are the commercial. Okay, commercial. So, then we can see this. Uh, open access initiatives okay because uh, these open access are available you know that one and where they are there are different these models also available that also you have seen green gold all these okay hybrid etc so for who started this one and when it started and how this uh, how many uh, organizations have uh, concentrated for the development of this one is Budapest Open Access uh, Initiative because they have concentrated much for this uh, development of open access. Then Bethesda statement on open access publishing, this is one. ACRL principles and strategies for reform of the scholarly communication. ACR means uh, uh, is, uh, uh, American this, uh, uh, college and the research libraries. Okay, principles and strategies. Association, okay. Association of College and Research Libraries Principles and Strategies. Welcome first position statement on open access. They also, uh, some policies uh, uh, they made. Berlin Declaration of Open Access to Knowledge in the Science and the Humanities debate. And UN World Summit on Information Society Declaration of Principles and Plan of Action, one. OECD Declaration on the Open Access to Research Data from Public, Public Only. Then, you know, you know that no? OECD, or uh, Economic Cooperation and Development. IFLA, because this is a more, more popular International Federation of Library Association statement on open access to scholarly literature and the research documentation, how we have to do this, what policies we have to do, adopt, okay, all these things they have here. Australian group of eight statement on open access to scholarly information, okay, this is one. And apart from these, apart from these, BOAJ, because you can see that one, you can write on also BOAJ, uh, Director of Open Access Journal. Is a very popular one. Okay, if you want to publish, you can go to that one. Which what are these uh, open access journals are available? You can visit the directory. Uh, one DOAB is another one, uh, the director of open access books. Okay, books as well. PLOS, yes, public library of science. Then open door. Okay, these are so, also good. Open door, uh, open directory of. Uh, uh, this uh, open access repositories, okay, or uh, directory of open access, PubMed Central, PubMed, PubMed Central also freely available, earlier this, uh, they used to uh, uh, charging, but uh, now it's uh, freely available, many of these uh, articles are available, if you are this, uh, uh, in the field of this chemistry or the biology or this uh, life, uh, then you can, or this life sciences, you can see, how to see this PubMed uh, Central, okay, or the medical fields. So these are the things we can say. These are three pieces of open access initiatives. I already told three immediate research and several things. Okay, this is anything. Uh, greater access, more progress, and long-term preservation in a trusted repository, and the greater impact also. Okay, so if you are published in open access, because these are the things uh, I already somewhat somewhere I told, and that's why I want to repeat this one. An impact, get uh, your work noticed, used and cited, make your work available while ideas are fresh and new because uh, make your work, this is more important, make your work available while ideas are 
darkness and then you have to recover. It will be easily spread to uh, many people. Okay. Share your work with the colleagues and the students. This will be possible because you can put it on your this uh, uh, website or okay journals or you can even this oh my publication as published in this journal. Okay, then anyone can see. So your students or the colleagues everything. Publish this other scholars books. Okay, that also books or the articles you can see. Okay, publish other scholarly works also. Okay, others that also we can do. So ours also we can do and others also they we can do uh, help them. I uh, index in Google Scholar, Oyster, and other in internet search tools because normally it will uh, index in this. Uh, organize promoting OA. Okay, these uh, these are the some of the important. If you want, you can write them. One is organization is promoting OA. These are one Spark Europe. You can visit uh, sparkeurope.org. Then open access uh, scholarly publishers association. This is another one. Open Access Scholarly Publishers Association. That also co this Confederation of Open Access Repositories. Then Liber Association of European Research Libraries. Okay, these uh, are promoting for uh, OA and they are doing this lot of uh, research work and uh, some of the innovative works in that. To uh, this uh, uh, from this approach to this OA are Open Access Journals. Yes, software for open access journals. These are the two we can see. One is a open access directory of open access journals. I already told the words you can see. Software for initiating open access journals. This is good one. pkit.sfq.ca.open open journal system. Open OJS means open journal system. The software is helpful. Then to the, this, uh, this is what I told open access journals in that. Uh, then, second one is open access repositories. These two of open access repositories also available. They can, you can go and you can visit opendoor.org. Okay, how to register all these things. List uh, uh, this uh, whole that I have uh, research also 3090 repositories as on June 2016. And openarchives.org is there. And guitar.this. Uh, ginger.uiuc.edu registry where all these places you can register okay where you have to register your open access repository there you can okay this are. some software also very much needed if you are developing some repositories digital repositories or i can say institutional repositories then this space is a very good software this space it is freely available eprints is also available federal commons also available this uh, is space.org, it prints uh, and then Pedora repository.org. Then, strategies for open access. Okay, what are the strategies? Okay, or talk. Institutes, learned bodies should initiate OA repositories and publish OA journals. What they have to do? All these uh, institutions now, they are many, many of them, they are concentrating now. Okay, their institution also supporting. Institutes and learned bodies should initiate OA repositories and publish OA journals. But they have to develop this institutional repository in their organizations and inform this uh, inform the teachers or this research scholar to publish your articles in a reported open access journals. This should be encouraged publish in open access journals and submit to the open access repositories because they can publish it and then after that also they can put in open access repository also institutional repository there also you can put it okay government or the funding aid should mandate publishing in open access journals okay that also they have to do there should be a national policy of scientific publishing okay yeah. who are the key players in that one government as some of the institutions or the organizations or the universities or the college or maybe scientific community or the researchers, library and information science professionals. Okay, all these people sir, are actually uh, should involve for the development of this uh, open access. Then what will be the open mantra? We can say provide open access to information through open access journals, institution repositories, open data repositories. And courseware. Courseware means uh, e learning. It's a very good topic because uh, uh, open educational resources. Open educational resources. That I slide, I have that one. Okay, I did many classes on that. 
open educational resources. Okay, so this is a e-learning, and using this, uh, uh, using open source software and the open standard. Okay, this is a uh, while developing this one. What is we have to use? Uh, we have to use open source software and the open standards. Journals I always to read. Then these are some of uh, the open access resources you can see. Resource one is a uh, Internet Archives. Internet Archive is non-profit digital library of the internet site and other cultural uh, artifacts in the digital form. So here, as a date, uh, it means it is uh, November. The archive contains 549 billion web pages, 29 million books and texts, 6.6 .6 million videos, 3.8 million images, 6.640 6 uh, kilobytes of software programs, then. 114 million audio visual recordings, okay, recordings, including the uh, 1,80,000 live concerts. Okay, these much because uh, that is a uh, really available internet archive. You see, uh, heard with web archive, internet archive, etc. If you have visited archive.org, HTTPS, why this HTTPS means we want to know HTTP, yes means it is a secure one, okay, you can. Anytime you can this access from if this uh, site is having the yes, okay, because SSL certificate they have applied, okay, HTTP, yes, okay, means okay, secure license. So, this is one, and then next one is the book share, is the another one. Uh, here, all this uh, online library of the individuals with the printed disabilities, okay, and many of the wide range of books, including uh, booksellers, movies, everything. Uh, book, Bookshare subscription is currently free, but later on one this has to pay the subscription because now it is being made it free one. Uh, many of these uh, books are available, fiction, everything. This is very important. Okay, DOAD, Directory of Open Access Books, Directory of Open Access Books. Here you can see this is uh, uh, should contain as many books as possible, provided that these publications are open access and met academic standards. As on date yesterday, uh, 49,332 academic peer reviewed books from 691 publishers are available here. Okay, DOAB. Okay, then this is another one uh, repeated by through directory of open access journal because this you have to visit. Okay, because maybe you have visited also so far. Uh, it, uh, that indexes and provides access to high quality. Open access peer review journals. Okay, they are concentrating only on this very good, the reputed, high quality journals. Okay. Language covered 80 languages, 130 countries uh, have contributed. Journals without APS, okay. without APS, means uh, processing uh, charges, no? uh, it is um, author uh, processing charges, uh, 12,283. Journals, total how many journals? 17. Okay, this is a okay. One, zero, okay, uh, this uh, seventeen thousand four forty eight actually. Okay, zero is not there. Then article records. Okay, article uh, total articles I can say seventy one lakh fifty two thousand one fifty five as of today. Okay, seventy one lakh fifty two thousand one fifty five. Any These these much articles are available there. Okay, available. Okay, so. Uh, imagine this, how many. So these are, uh, you can see, if you visited this one, Director of Open Access Journals, see Bio uh, Medical Central, okay, Education, Cognet, then uh, Brill, then uh, uh, this uh, Frontiers, Cargo Open Access, uh, uh, this Hindwai, uh, Sage, Springer, Tiam, and Wiley, because Procast, okay, main EBSCO, Many, many are available. Many are available. Content licensing. This also we can search how to search all this. They are given one. Another one I told this up. Uh, Director of Open Access uh, uh, Resources. Okay. That doer.col.org, Common University and Education Resources. Available. Many education resources are available in here. You know that one. No? Director of uh, uh, Education, Open Access Education Resources. Uh, uh, there are many sites are available. You conduct a very good study on that. One, uh, one of my students did the MS computer engineering. After that, he did PhD on information management. So, so 
what will happen on this uh, uh, this uh, open access uh, resources uh, uh, MIT stands first, okay, MIT, because mainly these engineering resources are available in MIT. Uh, so, uh, here particularly is MIT, Utta and many are available. Here we can say VOE are higher education, 4,267 education resources, open schooling, uh, 1,024, teacher education, 860, technical and vocational skills development, 1,026, okay, this much uh, resources are available. Okay, there's one good uh, sign. Open textbooks also available. You can see in, on all these uh, areas, okay, more than uh, a thousand books are available. Uh, then open stacks, STAX, you can visit your free time, open stacks. This is a, you can call open textbooks, open stack, STAX. There also, Arts, business books, humanities, mathematics, science, and technology books, uh, social science books, all these areas of uh, disciplines books are available. Then, Project Gutenberg is a very good one, uh, offers uh, over 60,000 free books. Okay, 60,000. Choose uh, among free ebooks, free Kindle books, download them or read them online. No free, free or registration is required. Project Gutenberg. Project this uh, uh, Saibula, this is a uh, this uh, uh, Nigeria, uh, African site actually. Okay, Saibula meaning this uh, southeastern Africa. We open. Okay, their site also one can uh, visit. Uh, many textbooks also available. Open education resource particularly. Eric is another database. It is also free education resources. Sir. Okay, uh, Eric. Uh, it is the free open online database of education research that serves more than 12 million researchers, educators, students, and others from 238 countries. So since 16, 1966, uh, they are uh, giving the service. They added more than 1.7 million records, journal articles, reports, and other materials. About 1 million records are for peer reviewed work and for 4 lakh. The course of free full text available from this Eric. You can visit this Eric also. Good database. This one. Eric dot PD dot CBO. Then this is journal. There are many are available. I have not listed this area uh, education resources are uh, uh, DOAB, DOER, DO. Uh, so there are many are. Okay. Journal this uh, table of contents. This is one. Okay. Uh, suggest a journal for a journal table of contents. Here you can select a uh, Complete this form and add a new journal to the journal table of contents because this is one uh, journal POC one service is available. You can uh, put this all this title metadata, okay, title, printer, electronic journal, this uh, home page, everything, and then post it there. And many people will see that. Then repositories, another one I showed this repository, issues repository, or the discipline repositories, for that also directories are available. One is digital repositories. Another one is a directories of digital record because I am telling you many repositories are available. Okay, and many repositories, repositories or the discipline repositories are available. This is called as a digital repository. And directories of the digital repositories are also available. Through this, uh, we can easily search them. Open access repositories, in that this is a good one. See, online database, this is online data providing free access to scholarly publication. Generally use open access software and so these basic things are for there are repositories can be institutional or subject based. This is I step. This is a good public center. Then uh, originally based on the model of self archive, self deposit, but now may now offer this mediated deposit because the library is in touch can be searched locally via search engines or via harvesting such as oyster. Okay, oyster. This harvesting means that uh, we can uh, take it from this other source uh, because uh, uh, that uh, option yesterday I saw that one very good one. This uh, EKP software, this is a good one, and then associated with the protocol for metadata harvesting for open archives. Initiative. There are many initiatives that uh, we can search that okay, that we do not carry out this uh, peer review. So, this is one, this is a uh, related to that. 
directly open door, directly of open access repositories. This is one. Quality assures global directly of open access repositories. Here, this all the they have given this ID browsing searching for the repositories. Uh, if you visited this particular site, now you can tarpa.ac.uk open door. Okay. Then, uh, this is a uh, open door relating to this, and then ICDL, International Children's Digital Library, is also available. Really, this is not uh, important for you. Uh, open access digital library, NDL is very important, but MHRD and it is a national mission on uh, education, uh, this one, uh, on the uh, technology sensing project. Okay, this is National Digital Library of India. Frame of virtual repository of learning resources with a single window search facility. Filter and federate search is employed. Okay, this is one. NDL is holds content of the any language any and, and provides interface support for leading Indian languages. It is being developed by the uh, IIT Kharagpur. Okay, uh, this, um, as on the uh, last I think I have connected. Okay, to, uh, okay. Uh, around this uh, 66. 29 lakh 44,786 items have been posted in a national digital library. This you can visit. Okay, I correct for the big, very good work. This one, MGF. Uh, open access general repository is also available. Many of these are HR, CAC, CAK. Uh, there are many journals by scientific areas, natural science, technical, biomedical, social science, etc. Journals 379. Published issues, this much articles. Uh, so, uh, we have given this is good. Attitude published the attitude to repositories but initially very concerned. They are concerned that libraries should start con this uh, canceling subscription, would often not give permission for the authors to deposit within the day now. Uh, and some of uh, them are not giving also the permission to post their uh, some publishers, they are taking the public email. Have more to accept that some flexibility is needed. Many permit depositing repositories, but often impose conditions, example, relating to version of the papers that can be deposited and papers can be deposited. This is also they are taking. Mapping this, uh, this is what the picture I got. Mapping the future of scholarly publishing. So you can see it in the figure, it says, well, in many, many gadgets, uh, you can do this one. Uh, it will uh, be accessed. Okay. Uh, then self archiving will be the okay. general self archiving this uh, uh, post 12 months this American Chemical Society actually self archiving information by the journal data repositories these are the uh, fig share fig graphite share uh, credit for all your research and uh, e posters you can write down this one e posters e base one Geo tracks, okay. Immediate data is uh, products. So these are available data repositories. Uh, another one, uh, what is all related to this one? Uh, predatory this uh, publishing. Okay, I think uh, some of them already touched. Maybe this uh, some part maybe predatory uh, publishing. Uh, and problems in open access. You know who pays this one? And predatory publications are more and the pay printer pay review. Okay, this is there, and uh, you know that one. What he means by this uh, predatory publications? By publishing, you should be this uh, very careful publication ethics. You know that one. If the predatory publishers and journals, they already this. Uh, you know, I I touch because this also uh, maybe have to uh, publication ethics in that. Uh, I have to answer it. Uh, what is predatory or the fake journals? Okay. <clears throat> Predatory journal uh, business is a uh, uh, next one you can see here. This is a uh, one here uh, how they are evaluating this one. Okay, because there are many hurdles. We can see the picture source. Okay, and here it is not like that. Okay, directly they can do that one. They can publish. Okay, nothing because they have to pay one article processing charges. That's the result. Uh, article processing charge, not author. Okay, I will not take that. Yeah. Okay. Predatory journals, open access journal, because in that, uh, you know, that one predatory in that there are many this open access journal. Predatory is nothing but a uh, fake journals, fake journals, isn't it? 
journals then frequently they make their money by charging a publication fee something very high of the author like normal oe okay article processing fee okay the author, article means they are collecting from the authors so this is why they are many times okay so frequently make their money by charging the a publication fee something very high because they, you know that one sometimes there many times it is coming coming to your mail okay we are publishing your article okay we are having the experience team of the well developed team everything because uh, you have to pay this one for publication within 15 days we will publish our work well, or uh, within uh, two days we will publish uh, your article or immediately we will publish okay that is a many welcome and also they are giving the some your impact factor because in fact our journal is having this uh, six uh, uh this support uh, impact factor or seven impact factor of like that because nature is having one i think four maybe okay there's a leading journal okay so this is what happened but they are not they are uh, simply this uh, putting all it uh, this way and uh, collecting money from this uh, the authors okay as a the article processing uh, charges okay then but uh, publish many poor quality papers in a uh, shell journals with the few staff okay very few staff but many this uh, uh they will uh, poor quality papers also they will publish this is what minimal or no risk pay review because sometimes they are doing this uh, uh sending for this uh, uh review or sometimes they are not doing that minimal or no peer review also resulting in hundreds of such journals covering every academic area this is a predatory journals are more now in india so we can see in india and this african Many journals, many countries having these type of journals. Many uh, like you must know, because because it is coming growing like anything. Many are many of them are uh, starting this, uh, bringing the bringing the journals. Okay, this is one emergence of this predated journals mainly the sidelining peer review process. Because their main intention is sidelining peer review process. Then second one is reduction in computing and communication cost. advances in internet and the web technology because this is available advanced things you know uh, internet and the web technology is the boom to them people you are sending to them asking through this uh, uh, website okay and sometimes they are sending to your mail okay these are our journal is this data and blah blah many things they are telling okay so uh, and also another one thing that you can send through this email and suddenly they will upload that one publish of the paris syndrome also there because many uh times uh, for their uh, career development or many many other things they have to publish uh, bring the publication okay bring the publication what we are doing now many times this uh, private uh, compared to this uh, uh this um, uh private okay institutions so the government institutions are not this uh, documentation in that somewhat poor i can say because we to uh, many times what the uh, private uh, They are each and everything. They they will uh, if you conduct some video or something, and they will uh, take the stamps and they will put this very good this reports uh, or five pages. They will do that systematically. Okay, all this they will do. But whereas the government public uh, government institutions are not that much, I can say. So what we can see here is uh, publishing it because AP other thing is more important for it, uh, for promotions. You know, that's one thing. And for getting this. Uh, Higher positions also all these are counts. Uh, publication, how many publications are uh, there working? So that's why they are publishing and introduces academic performance index that I told by UGC and other accreditation body. This is more than and earlier, you know, uh, I think uh, before this uh, on ten year, on fifteen years back, right, very few journals, you know, that one. conferences also that we only very few. Okay, and in each uh, each uh, discipline. Or four, five is the conferences that we now it is not some are very really adapt or some are continuous or the time. So this is what we can see now it is not like that. Okay, there are many many conferences, many journals, and some are the okay, big okay big big journals. What we can see misuse of the author paper this uh, publishing article processing charges module. Uh, okay, for example, P L O S open access publishing. Okay, this is one author. pay publishing or article processing charge models okay models this one is available pls and open access publishing but uh, they are copying in quality okay so these are some of the things i would don't want to explain 
they accept articles for publication along with the author's fees without performing promised quality checks for issues such as plagiarism or ethical approval because they won't concentrate on that they are not doing from plagiarism or checking of it uh, or identification or vector meeting or work kundo so there is many this uh, software plagiarism software are available in that they have checked or they have put that one study that focused on 46,000 researchers based in Italy found that about 5% of them published in such a outlet. And also, this failure to publish collect millions of dollars in publication fees that are ultimately paid out uh, by funders. Okay, this is that. And predatory exploiting, uh, exploitative publishing business model, this one. The idea that they are predatory is based on the view that academics are tricked into publishing with them, though some authors may be aware that the journal is poor quality or even prudent. This is one. But the new scholars from the developing countries are said to be especially uh, at risk of being misled by this predatory uh, practices. Characteristics, you know that one, accepting articles quickly with a little or there's no peer review or this quality control, including this author and this uh, non sensitive papers. Okay. Nothing academic of article fees after the papers are accepted. Notifying academics of article fees. Then uh, aggressively this campaigning for the academics to submit articles or uh, serve on editorial board because that is not coming to you actually. That's what you can see. Okay. So you are made. Listing academics as members of the editorial boards uh, without their permission means sometimes do that taking. And not allowing academics to resign from this academic, this is uh, editorial board also. This is a, uh, and they will uh, uh, insist you on this, uh, tell you or uh, request you. Okay, these are the types of predatory uh, appointing fake academics to editorial board, uh, mimicking the name or the website style of more established journals. This is uh, happening, you know, that in product also happening, uh, like this looks that way. So, this is like the same here also. A website okay website also uh, it uh, journal looks like that only because journal of uh, uh, for example uh, advances in information technology international journal of advances in uh, information so it is so the same kind of type with the coverage everything they will put okay well, just type one word they will uh, they are changing okay this is what happened Making misleading displays about the publishing location, such as the false location. Location also they are not giving. So they are putting international. Using ISSNs improperly, citing fake or non-existent impact factor. Citing fake or non-existent impact factor because impact factor that much is never uh, positive again. So that much they are putting six, five, seven like that. So uh, not like that. Six point five seven. Okay. Uh, 5.23. Okay, that way, that way they are. They are predatory uh, and uh, low quality journals correct the literature. Okay, this concept is available in this paper, uh, the three, okay, last seven years. Okay. Medical science has been uh, practically, uh, this uh, particularly hit hard with journals now devoted to unscientific medicine. Peer reviews is at the heart of this academic evaluation. And another thing, publishing without peer review. While pretending that peer review was done, gives poor and mediocre academics a chance for jobs and promote this promotions, which should go to better qualified researchers. Okay, this is about how to find predatory journals. Okay, some of our, some people think any journal from an a unknown publisher or a journal that charges for publication is necessarily predatory. Okay, they, some other assumption that is not necessarily correct because the important thing is to dig deeper and find quality of submitted manuscripts and it's a standards we all see because how much what, we, what is the standard of that no single individual is identifies a specific journal editor with no formal editorial review board or same editorial board for more than one journal so, so this is what you are working on the editor and or the review board members do not have academic expertise in the journals. Many times you know that, one, no? 
many journals. They are putting even the Sarisa scholar also. They are telling that give the their name that that also they will put. Okay, there is a scholar in okay such and such university. Okay, that will they put they will they will be the editor of that. Okay, the scholar is another good no problem. I don't uh, uh, say they are because they are sometimes some are very good okay writers. So uh, that if you there in the beginning stage means it is not uh, uh, good to put that one. Okay, put that. There if they are experienced, we can. How to manage sir? Do you or your this colleagues know the journal? Because you have to discuss with your colleagues or whether this is a good journal or not, a reputed journal or not. Okay, can you easily identify and contact the publisher that you are seek? Whether you can contact the publisher. Or not. Is the journal clear about the type of peer review it uses? Are they using this peer review process adopted? Are article indexed in services that you use? Okay. It is clear what fees will be charged, how much they are charging, everything. Do you recognize the editorial board? Let's see that who will be there in the editorial board. Is the publisher a member of a recognized industry initiative? Okay, this COPE. Okay, this committee of uh, this uh, uh, open access publication ethics. Okay. Then DOAJ, OASPA, etc. Publishers poorly maintained website including dead links, prominent misspelling, and grammatical errors on the website. This is also to observe. We have to observe. Publishers make unauthorized use of licensed images on their website taken from the open web without permission or the license to the copyright owners. Then, next one is a publisher. What do you have to say? The publisher republished papers already published in other venues, outlets without providing appropriate this, uh, uh, references. And then use uh, boastful language claiming to be a leading publisher even though the publisher may only be a startup or a novice organization. Well, that we can understand this. Provide minimal or no this uh, copy editing or this proof reading of the submission. They are not seeing because they have to other video again we are uploading. Okay. Publish papers that are not academic at all. Example, essay on lay people, polyminical editorials or pseudo sites. Okay. Then have a contact. Sometimes they are not giving the contact because the contact us is they giving you have sent this mail to them because they are not giving there is the place is nothing because contact number nothing. Publish high risk, sir. That's how we do this location also. Then uh, uh, publishers publish in journals that are exclusively broad, okay, journal of education, journal of uh, uh, this interdisciplinary this journal, okay, international journal of inter multidisciplinary, sorry, multi inter not interdisciplinary, multidisciplinary. Combine two or more fields, not normally taken together, because international journal of business, humanities, and technology, anyone can. Business, they can also. Uh, or send for this their article, humanities also, technology also, medicine also, okay, in order to attract more articles and gain more revenue from the authors. This is what happened. This is a, this, uh, you can see the part, very good part. Six ways to spot with predatory journals. Always check the website thoroughly. I'll stop now, okay. Always check the website thoroughly. Check the journal is a, a member of the UHSP, the already STM, etc. Check the journal contact information, research the editorial board. Okay, see that one, visit the site, take a look at their pre review process and publication time and how much they are taking, etc. Read thorough past issues of the journal, how they published uh, this uh, publications, whether this quality one, okay, who are this contributor, everything that can be seen. Okay, these are the six uh, things. Predatory publishing, be aware, potential, possible, or the probable predatory scholarly open access publishers, potential, possible, or probably predatory scholarly open journals also. So, criteria predatory publishing, editor and the staff, publisher will see integrity and other things sir, are here. We all see as per this one. Exactly, well, please tell Then, examples of predatory publication, many are available. Okay, you can see. Uh, so now I'm making this side terms. There's many striking back many predatory publishers. This also um, the price for predatory publishing dollar fifty million. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a 
one this circuit faults i can see oh. habits of this bogus publishing operations batch email soliciting manuscript submission batch invitation to joint editorial board extremely high accept rate extremely fast submission concealed publishing location confusing misleading especially broad titles and also this required copyright transfer before accepting because they are asking you this copyright transfer certificate and everything so these are the things i already told because false claims author fees minimum fee limited reduced import import etc hmm so i give you take care of this uh, to do good work research it. because what you have to do to make good choice take care of do good work for the research identify suitable journal for your work message audience quality of the work this more important good message seek a strong peer review process okay seek advance from the uh, advice always you are taking from the mentor supervisor and uh, many other people explore the all list of likely predatory oa publishers okay this is a uh, uh, you identify who are there okay don't don't uh, publish in that this is what uh, then un avoid unexpected uh, this invitation to publish or join boards or present at conference don't be told by this copy cat websites for other or emails okay then what you have to do thing check and submit your article before this you have to do the thing check and submit okay your article legitimate journals okay these are the uh, many okay that are many of, uh, other expert teacher is waiting maybe because i do later so distinct is a legitimate journals are there you see that i'll tell you later because these are the highlights and copy because quality journal websites then oe publishers boeg and then you know ski of this one web of science corpus and uh, impact factor google scholar and this uh, these are the, um, some of the journals are available that are tracking tables next class anyhow i think ah this is a sharpa sharpa and romeo i have to do no this also i have to do next class i can finish it this this is one create comments one now this two slides are there. Create comments also I touch. This is a. I think it is enough. Like that, guys. And the expert is waiting. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is fine. Oh, ma'am. Yes, sir. Hello, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, whether it is useful. Pardon me, sir. Okay, I did the sum of this predatory journal also this publication ethics in that last seventh part is there, no? Predatory. Yeah. Because yes, sir. Because this is related to this that yeah. I touch that also. Yes, sir. Uh, next, I have to concentrate on uh, the next uh, aspect. This uh, Sharpa, Romeo, online uh, resources check publishers copyright etc. That also and SPEU. Okay, this is a Savitra Bai Kule. Uh, Pune University, the committee has called. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. okay, they have identified some of the uh, journals. Okay, this is what we have to do. Thank you very much, ma'am. Yeah, and, thank uh, you, sir. Thank you so much. Any questions or any clarification or any of all these things, sir? Next, you can ask. Yes. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you so much, sir. Thank okay. you. Okay. okay. Okay, participants, uh, we have cancelled uh, the other two hours that were scheduled for today uh, because uh, Professor Neeta Inamdar, who was supposed to speak today, she said she has covered all the important aspects in her previous lectures, two hours she has taken already, so she will not be taking any more classes on scientific conduct. And we'll have uh, other, regular, uh, other classes as uh, scheduled uh, in the timetable. Uh, they will be on next Friday evening and uh, on uh, next Saturday afternoon. So whatever uh, the resource persons have shared with me, the PPT or PDF, I will share it. Uh, I will share them with you. Already I have shared some PPTs. Uh, as and when they uh, give me, I will share them with you. Okay. Thank you so much. We will close the class for today. Thank you for attending the class. Thank you.